Welcome to Worldbox. Worldbox just launched on Steam yesterday, and with it, a bunch of new features, as well as your old mods aren't working anymore, because it's all different now. So I'll be showing you guys how to install mods on the new Steam Worldbox. It's actually pretty simple. It's actually simpler than before. You can see I've got Powerbox working and fully functional. Pretty cool. All right, so here's what you do. The very first thing you're gonna wanna do is open your game and turn on experimental mode. This has to be on for this to work. Next, what you'll do is close your game and you have to download this NCMS thing. I will put the link in the description. If you are wary of clicking links on random YouTube videos, which, you know, for good reason, the link can also be found in the modding talk section of the official Discord. It's this link right here. If only you could click your screen, but unfortunately we can't do that yet. But you can tell this is the exact link will be in my description if that makes you feel any better. So you're gonna wanna download ncms.dll from the link, and you're gonna wanna put it in Worldbox, Worldbox Data, Streaming Assets, Mods. There are two ways to get there. You can just do it normally, or if you have a hard time with stuff like that, you can go to your Steam, click on your properties for your game, Go to local files, go to browse, bada bing, bada boom, here we are. Alternatively, you can go to your program files, go to Steam, go to Steam apps, go to common, go to world box, and here you are. Either way, once you're here, you're gonna wanna put that file you just downloaded in world box data, streaming assets, mods. Boom, right there, that's where you put it. Once it's there, launch the game again, and you will have this. Now that you've done that, this folder will pop up. Also, just ignore this folder. This is the old way to do mods. I had first tested just to see if the old way worked and it didn't, but so <laughs> you shouldn't have this folder. This is the old mod manager. So it creates a mods folder, right? And this is where you put your mods. Now note that not all of the mods have been updated to work on the new version. Really the only two that have been updated as of right now. Granted, it's only the next day since this launch, so I expect the rest of them will follow soon. Powerbox has been updated to 112.2, and Modern Mod has been updated to 1.12.2. So these are the only two. The rest of them, these are all old. I can't say that they'll work or not. I, I'm gonna guess not because I tried to get simple GUI to work from the old version. It didn't work, doesn't show up. Um, but Powerbox works just fine. So all you gotta do is download this Powerbox file, and it was already .mod for me, so just drop it right into here. It's not .dll anymore, it's .mod. Drop your mods right into the mod folder, and that's all you gotta do. Then reboot your game, and the new mods you've added should be in here uh, with a toggle, where you can turn them off if you don't wanna use them. And that's it. Anyway, I hope that helped you guys. Hopefully that made sense. If you have any more questions, you can obviously ask me, or you can check out the official Discord. There's a channel for mods that you can download. You can keep an eye on for when the new ones get updated. And there's also a modding talk where people are always asking questions. And uh, literally the dev of the Powerbox mod is an admin in here. He's actually the person that posted this link. Nikon is the one that posted this link. And uh, this mod was made by Nikon as well as this whole thing. So he basically, I guess, works for Worldbox now it seems like in some way, because he's an admin on their server. So anyway, hope this helps. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. I'll be pumping out some new videos over the next couple days, and uh, yeah, I'll see you around.